Oh, it's just Jorid. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new Little Nightmares 2 theory video. And boy, has it been crazy these last few hours. We have had so much news and reveals, it feels like Christmas came early. So, February 11th, 2021 is the release date, and we finally have an official name for our TV man, and he is called The Fin Man. And that gameplay, oh my god, looks amazing. They have really gone all out for this Little Nightmares 2, and you can see it. Anyway, as you can see by the title of the video, as Britney Spears once said, oops, I did it again, the reveals haven't been out 24 hours yet, my mind has been racing so I could barely sleep. So, the Finn Man. Could he be someone we know? And also in this video, we're going to be talking about his face reveal. Anyway, let's get into the video. Our first introduction to the now named Finn Man was an intense one, but there is so much more to him than you think. Remember in my last theory how I said he looked like a ghostly entity? Well, what if I told you he could just be that? Let me explain. It first came to me when we were first introduced to the Finn Man, I did videos constantly saying how he looked like the hanging man wearing similar clothes, and not only that, but playing Very Little Nightmares, which we know is a prequel to Little Nightmares, I noticed the picture of the hanging man on the Pretender's wall, and I did a theory video on it of how I thought the Pretender's dad could have been the hanging man, connecting them to the moor. Also doing another playthrough of Very Little Nightmares, I spotted a book on the nest of the moor. But yesterday, when we first saw the Finn Man in the trailer, it really hit me. Could he be the ghost of the Hanging Man? Of course, it's very brave to make an assumption and a theory this early on with just the trailer, but a lot of the evidence is actually heavily pointing towards it. When we first see him in the trailer and he looks like a blur getting up, if you play it back slowly, there's a visible door on the right and, of course, a visible door handle. But if you also watch the 15 minute gameplay video, at the start you will see a long corridor at the end of it, a door. And as you get closer, it blurs. This door looks very familiar. It could look like the ones on the moor I thought. Then it hit me. I went back into Little Nightmares just to compare the door that we need to push the hanging man's chair towards to open it. And it looks like the same door. Also, when we see him in the trailer again, he is able to appear and then reappear by putting his head down. Why down? What's interesting is this stance he takes when he does this move, it looks awfully similar to the hanging man in that motion of him hanging. If you go onto the Bandai Namco website where they've updated all the info in correlation to the reveal of the Little Nightmares 2 gameplay and Malarkey, they will tell you that he's called the Finn Man, and you will see a description which rings all types of fairy alarm bells, and it reads, As the ever-present hum of the transmission chokes the airwaves, the Finn Man continues his endless journey through this desolate place, haunting the shadows, searching for something. Interesting choice of words, right? Chokes. The airwaves? Just like the Hanging Man. And continues his endless journey. So this isn't the start of the Finn Man's journey. He has been doing this for what sounds like a while and an endless journey. Tends to mean he's stuck in a loop of being here and haunting the shadows searching for something like a soul that can't transition on. While hunting the shadows searching for something is a very very interesting way of putting it. He definitely looks very shadowy if you will. What I mean by that is he kind of looks like an uncoloured, untextured apparition of some sort. Like there's nothing to him apart from this shadow. And what if, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that he's searching for is his body? Or, as we theorised a while ago, the hanging man was killed. Could he be searching for his killer? Or could he be simply looking for his child, the Pretender? There are actually so many possibilities that link him back to the Moor. Whether this is a prequel or a sequel, money's on the prequel. The fact that the Hanging Man was never really had a name either. We named him as we saw him. We have never been told an official name for him other than what we found in the data mine. And let's admit it, 
he is one of the first things we see when going into the Moor and Sixty story. I also edited a photo of him in hopes that we could see him better, but by gosh golly we can. What's also strange is how his neck is leaning to one side as if it was hanged and his eyes are closed and he has a face. This to me is insane and as he isn't faceless like with a mask or anything he has a face he is someone and the question really is is he the entity of the hanging man and is he representing what the hanging man once was again i reiterate it's very early to be making a theory at this stage but i feel confident that the evidence we've seen already really leads me to believe that this is the link between the moor and the outside world as we've heard in interviews before, there is definitely some lore links being placed purposely from Lucas. So, I feel like this is definitely one of them. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, if you like the video, drop a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know. I, I'd love to hear your opinions on this because I am absolutely mind blown. But before we get out of this theory, I want to take a few minutes just to thank our members for the channel. And they are the following. Newly New, Silver Crow, Alina, Chris Pine, and DF. Thank you guys and gals so much for supporting the channel, it really helps. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get your name shouted out at the end of a video, make sure to hit the join button below and join the channel. You'll get a few perks and all that good jazz. But anyway, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what's going on, what you think is happening. I'm absolutely stoked with all these theories going on in my, in my head at the moment. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe wherever you are in the world. I wish you the best morning, day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.